Welcome back, everyone. So, what? At this point, we in time, we could either one, do what the game wants us to do, uh, and go to Doga and Une's, uh, well, Doga's Manor, and meet Doga and Une there. But an uh, alternative, which is what we are doing in this video, is we're going to obtain the final crystal, which is very, very easy to get. Okay, the ship's cannons are gonna fire, yeah. Which is still very weak, but... Yeah, these guys are so weak. I don't even need my physical attack, or these guys are so weak. Gosh. Okay, um... Let's just speed through that. Okay. Let's just speed through this, too. Let's take, because this place is annoying to get out of. Ah. No, 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 it's so powerful. So powerful. We're not even having the... Anyway, so... The, so you're probably wondering, why, why couldn't we get these jobs earlier? So if we come over here, these statues... We cannot get past them. So what we have to do, is we have to go out of our airship... And then... Which e with each thing we have, it causes some of the statues to get rid of. So that is why we can do it now, really. That's why we can do it now, instead of having to go to Doga's place first. Because all we actually needed to do was get that thing of Earth. The boss that... To get the, all we have to do to get all the stands in our way to get the earth crystal is one boss. One pretty weak boss. And now we can cross over this with the Invincible. Ah! So yeah, that's all. That's the only reason we had to collect all those dumb things. Just so we could get past those weird statues. Okay, so now... If it weren't for the powers that Doga and Yune gave us, we could beat the game. Because over here is where the final dungeons are, but still. But the thing is, Doga and Yune's power give, gives us access into the final dungeon, so. But the thing is, that, that's the final dungeon, not the penultimate dungeon, or the before last dungeon. And the other optional dungeon, which essentially isn't optional if you want all the magic and stuff like that, but, um, if you want all the magic and you, if you actually want weapons that are going to deal damage, then yeah, um, but, we are going to get the new jobs, but we're not, we're not actually going to use them until we get killed, Dogen Yune, because we don't want to have to be super weak over there. So, essentially, we just have to go straight forward, that's it. 
And now we're already at the crystal chamber. How easy. The real crystal, not the fake that Goldor had. Reminds me of FF4, how that always happens when you approach a crystal. Now this guy, I feel so bad for how weak this guy is. He's just like, he's like the last box, just a little more beefed up, but still. He even looks exactly the same, except he's a bit lighter, but that doesn't matter. Um... Bio worked wonders against that last boss, so we can do that again. Um, can we cast haste on all? I wish cast haste on all like unique and go to um. Although, if he hits the same person twice, it's a bit damaging, but as you can see now, we just healed almost all that HP, so. Which I totally always forget about. And he only has 1,000 more HP than the, um, Hecatonicha, or whatever his dumb name was. That guy was way too weak. I don't even know why that guy is a protector of a crystal. Okay, guys, that's all that was we were supposed to cover in this video. So thank you for watching this video, like and subscribe if you liked the video, I can't wait to see you next time if you do watch the next video. Don't forget to check out my other videos, like I told you in the last video about all the Final Fantasy videos I will be doing. Uh, if, if I told you again, you'd probably just be super bored, so that's why I'm not going to tell you again. Now, as you can see, we have all the jobs except the Onion Knight. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. And, uh, ha hope you have a good day.